While investigators are still trying to determine what prompted 51 year old Bruce Vandermosten to enter the Frankenshape plant last night and open fire on his former co workers. The sheriff says it happened just after 1030 Tuesday night at the Frankenshape plant on AM Ellison Road in Anderson County. Deputies arrived on scene uh, about about 1040 p.m. It was a little less than five minutes uh, response time. The coroner's office has identified the shooter as 51 year old Bruce Vandermosten Jr. He was a very recent ex employee, as in like a day or two before. The sheriff says Vandermosten entered the plant and began shooting at employees. The first workstation that he came in through that through that side door uh, was the first victim. And I think after that, he's, he just sent several rounds down range and uh, grazed the uh, second victim. Two employees were shot and taken to the hospital. One of them has life threatening injuries after being shot in the head and, according to the sheriff's office, is currently on life support. And for whatever reason, after a few rounds, the suspect uh, made his way to kind of the side inside of the building and took himself out. The sheriff's office says about 30 other employees were at the plant when the shooting started. They were then able to escape across the road to a nearby restaurant for shelter. Took in the employees. Obviously, many of those were in shock and distraught and, and uh, just a lot of emotions. The sheriff says Vandermosten accessed the building through a side door. Trying to make sense of who this guy is and why in the world he would he would do this. Now investigators are trying to learn more about Vandermosen's past and try to determine what caused him to initiate this act of violence. A very eerie situation, very scary for them, I'm sure. It's not something you expect to happen at, well anywhere. Now the sheriff tells 7 News it appears Vandermosten used an AR style rifle in the shooting. They also say they provided active shooter training at that plant just about a year ago. Live in Anderson County, Ayla Ferone, 7 News.